subscribe to the club and what you think of the academy talent that are available. There's also a lot of talk about signings, but we've got a lot, a lot of talented players here, including Zidane. Um, I said before already, um, I think Manchester United has a huge potential and really good players and we have experienced players but also a lot of young guys, young boys who um, have a lot of potential now to get the potential out and therefore we have to work really hard and uh, Man United is famous about it, uh, Marcus Rashford is one, eh, is, uh, I think it's a symbol of the uh, academy of Manchester United and yeah, there will come in, uh, more talents after. Tom Smithies from the, from the A-League. Um, a lot has been written about your form over the last year for the club and country. You've got a, a new manager. What can Eric do for you as a, as a footballer? Um, I think you know we can do a lot together. Um, for me, it's a it's a fresh start and something I'm looking forward to. Um, I think you know the first two two and a half weeks of training have been good. Um, We've improved a lot, we're a lot fitter than we was last season and also we're making mistakes along the way so we have a lot of room for improvement. Um, so you know I'm in, a, I'm in a good place right now and you know I'm just looking forward to getting more games under my belt and get ready for the season. Eric, Tom Maddox from the ABC, will you have much uh, opportunity to see Melbourne or any parts of Victoria and what might your impressions be? We are not in the position till now to see so much. And we, we came down here and we were in the hotel, we were here and it was a long journey out of Thailand. So, but what we see, a uh, um, uh, small, uh, fantastic city and you see and you smell the sports culture. Thanks, Martin, and NCA Newswire. Uh, Donny Vanderbeek coming back this season, obviously quite familiar with working with him. Where do you see him best fitting in? Do you see him playing a bit deeper as one of the two, or can you see him playing a bit further up as maybe for more of a 10 this season? Uh, he, he can do both, and I know that from the past, but his best position, uh, that is his uh, capabilities in the box of the opponent. So uh, playing short behind the striker, and, uh, he has a really good smell for being in the right position. Question for Marcus. Um, just obviously, nobody at Manchester United had a good year last year, but uh, how did you, how, how have you got yourself out of the, the down moments, the difficult times? How have you overcome these challenges to, to get back to this fresh start? Yeah, I think, you know, um, it's been a bit unnatural for me to have such a long break um, in the summer. I think I had just under four weeks, so. I had a long, long break physically and, and mentally as well, so it's an opportunity to refresh and um, get ready to go again. And it's always the case with a new season, whether you win or lose. So um, I just use the opportunity to do what I've always done um, and just refocus. I was going to say, last summer you obviously had the disruption of the tournament and then the surgery. How much do you think you'll benefit from having a full pre-season? Yeah, massively. Um, this is my, I think, first, first year where I've been with the team from the beginning. Um, and to be honest, I already feel a lot better um, than usually when you go into nationals and you come back, you know, midway through the the preseason. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's it's important for me to get a, a fresh start, and I've been given that opportunity. So um, yeah, feel feel fresh and feel better. Uh, Marcus, this coming game is also the first game of Melbourne Victory's preseason, which means we might see a few of their youngsters, a few of their kids play a lot of whom will have grown up idolising Man United and even idolising yourself. Is that something that you're aware of when you're playing in these games, that some of these kids grew up, you know, with your poster on their wall? Um, I think, you know, for, for a player and me as an individual, it's just about doing your work on the pitch. Um, you know, we've got a lot of um, things to, to work on and a lot of messages that we need to follow. So. Um, it's about being focused and you know trying to give the best version of yourself on on match day and um, you know whether that whether or not that comes, it's something to build on and improve on. So um, we're going to use our time as a whole on pre-season to to get to the best best version of each each other individually and as a team. Um, and yeah, if we do that, then we'll be ready to to start the season. Hi, Steph from Channel 10. It was touched on a little bit by Eric, but Marcus, I know you sh I'm sure you haven't had much downtime yet, but is there anything that you're looking forward to doing when you're in Melbourne or Australia in general? Um, you know, to be honest, um, training's training's been tough, so um, a lot of our downtime is a lot of rest and recovery. Um, and you know that's the that's the life that we live, and you know you learn to enjoy it. There's a there's a bit of banter in in the hotel and stuff like that. So 
um, everyone's everyone's really focused, and um, when we have time to enjoy ourselves, ourselves, we will do. Will we have time to try to again? I don't know. Yeah, it's up to it's up to him. <laughs> um, Mark, so just in terms of your form, you obviously generated a lot of positive headlines throughout your career, and maybe the last twelve months is the first negative stuff you've had to deal with. Has that affected your confidence or how the people around you supported you? Because clearly you have all the ability, it's just bringing it out of yourself really. Yeah, I think um, for me, it's. I always say to myself, um, it's a lot easier to make mistakes in a, in a team that's, that's winning. So it's like the last game we, we won against Liverpool, but we've made a lot of mistakes. So it gives us, you know, a, a big, a, a huge space for, for improvement. And um, individually, it's the same thing. Um, if you if you make mistakes in a winning team, it's a lot easier to, um, you know, come back and improve. Um, when you're losing, it's difficult because you know we're, we're all sportsmen. Um, we don't like to lose, so um, you know we have to just refocus and try our best to win the next game. Is it just kind of the whole? negativity surrounding the entire club last year sucks, sucks everything into it all. I mean it's part of it but it's not an excuse um, you know it's it's a it's a big club that we play for and we're expected to win as we as we should do um, so we just have to work work really hard to, to improve and um, you know next season's the first game of the season's the first opportunity that we have so um, we do all this hard work now and try and win as many games as we can in pre-season and then when it comes to the first game of the season we're ready to give give everything. Okay, we've got time for two more questions. Uh, one at the back there. Uh, Flex lovely night for you. Um, for Eric, James Sancho looked really, really comfortable against Liverpool, expressing himself on the ball. Is that something that you were expecting from the front line and him in particular? And we saw him play from the right-hand side as well. Are you looking to see him deployed from there? I was really happy uh, to see, uh, I think we have a good left side, but I think you see against Liverpool that we always uh, also have a threat over the right side. And uh, it was really good to see it uh, because yeah, you, want, um, uh, you want to have weapons. And when you that have only over one side, it's quite uh, predictable. So we want that uh, develop uh, over two sides and of course also in the middle. And so we have to come from everywhere. Did, sorry, just, did Pai's performance surprise you? And does that give you a bit of a headache, considering we're linked to more defenders? Uh, who? Eric Pai's performance? Oh, no, it doesn't give it a headache. <laughs> I'm happy. Eh? We need um, uh, a full squad. It's coming a season with a lot of games. In the middle there's a World Cup. Um, so we need really a full squad, squad with uh, a lot of uh, competition also between the players so that they get each other the shop and so we push each other to a higher level. Last question. Eric, yeah. Eric, Australian fans obviously would have loved to have seen Cristiano Ronaldo play on this tour. Are you able to give us an update on how he's going and are you hopeful he'll be back at the club?